Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the Git last confirmed values node. So these nodes are pretty simple. Let me recombine this, and here's the two nodes we're going to talk about: Git last confirmed full screen mode and Git last confirmed screen resolution. And these are used to give us back the last confirmed values. These are values that we've written out to the file or the object using the confirm video mode node. And they're useful for when we need to recover from an issue or we want to find some good safe defaults that the user has provided us with. When we look at our game user INI file, we find the last user confirmed resolution values. This is where we get the resolution. And the last confirmed full screen mode, this is where we get if it's zero for full screen one for windowed full screen or two for windowed itself. Now in terms of what we get back for the get last confirmed full screen mode, we're going to get back an enum, which is going to give us back a full screen windowed or full screen, like I mentioned before. So in this case, if I hit play, we're going to get back windowed. And of course, if we were to do something like the get last screen resolution, we could split it out into the X or the Y. And in this case, I'll print out the X, which is going to be 1920 which is our saved X resolution, which of course we can see here for the last user confirmed resolution. And that's it. They're really simple nodes. They are intended to give us back those saved settings. Remember those saved settings are only come from the confirm video mode after we've applied it. And also keep in mind, it's gonna pull out of the game user settings object, not off of disk. So you need to keep that in mind with anything where you are getting a value, especially one value that's saved to the file. If you were to go in and confirm the video modes without saving, the next time you get the video modes, these last confirmed ones, it's going to be the value written inside the object, not the value written disk, because they don't match. They have not been saved. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you are either validating using a load settings node when you get, so that way you get them correctly from the disk. Or if you aren't saving to disk, just make sure you keep your flow organized in your mind. Make sure you're always saving when you need to save and loading when you need to load. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. These two nodes give you back an enum of windowed, full screen, or borderless windowed, or an int point, which is gonna give you back an X and Y value, which of course you can split.